Like the very beginning of the Alaskan oil fields, they're actually right out that way. I've been here for a couple days and we got the project done, so praise God for that. I need to get on a plane here in a few hours, but before I did that, I thought I'd go check out the store. Uh, <laughs> might sound weird to go, let's go check out the store because that's fun. No, guys, guys, when you're up here, um, these units right here, I call them ATCO units, they're just pre manufactured metal buildings, they're just stacked on top of each other. Everything here has to be able to be removed to make it environmentally safe in case they do close the oil fields down here. Everything uh, is just so different here. There are no homes here. There is no grocery stores here. I was gonna go do like a grocery shopping video for you. Let's go buy some eggs. How much eggs cost in, up here in Prudhoe Bay? Nothing, because you can't buy them. So different. And matter of fact, uh, they've got some like little gift shops in, uh, these are called camps, by the way, they're kind of like hotels, but they're like, you know, we call them camps because that's what you do, you're up here to camp out. You can buy like energy drinks and candy bars there, but other than that, that's about all you can buy. But there's one store, I think it might be like a general store, um, but I've never been to this store in what, almost 20 years or so off and on of coming here. Uh, I've never been there. So we'll go check that out, see, see how it looks, see what they sell. Maybe see how much it costs. It might be fairly normal in pricing. I'm not sure. It's like a, I guess there's like a sticker wall. I've got some Summers in Alaska stickers, so I'm gonna go stick on them. So again, hope you guys are doing awesome. Uh, let's go check out the store, drive around uh, Pruda Bay for a little bit, and then we'll go get on a plane and get home. And hope you guys are doing awesome. Put our sticker up here. Where do we put it? There we go. Boom. hardware items which is super awesome if you're up here working and you just need something quick they have a pretty decent selection I like electrical even I've noticed I'm like hey they have the wire that we need now there's a lot of dust on a lot of the stuff but uh, if you're in a bind they do have uh, construction material and hardware uh, hardware stuff so pretty cool upstairs is their general store so let's go check that out and uh, see what they sell here at the general store Things that you 
may not have brought with you. Uh, you know, like you've got some snacks here, you've got some toiletries, you know, shampoo. They sell quite a bit of winter gear here. You guys ask a lot of questions on these kind of things to us, and like, what do we use? And you know, Carhartt is typically what we'd use, and depending on how extreme the weather is, like up here, like I said, this is probably probably the most extreme you're gonna run into in Alaska would be working up here in Prudhoe Bay on the oil fields. These are a pretty typical style of bib that I would see up here. And I don't even know the brand, it's not Carhartt, it's like a Corbana. And you know, it has the reflective pants and all of that. Super warm, $287, you too could have a pair. Um, believe it or not, their coats that they have here like if, you, if you're gonna wear a coat up here, you're gonna wanna dress in layers because even these heavy duty co coats here, these are bulwark, these are, these are pretty typical from what you see, again, with all the reflective stuff on here. Let's see what these cost. $340 for this coat. Uh, it will keep you warm, but you still actually have to have additional layers under it as of the wind and how crazy cold it gets here. Lots of layers. And it's nice to see they have at least somewhat of a selection of, of cold weather gear here in case you forgot something. your camp shoes which you definitely need here you can get some sandals and just some easy slip-on shoes to wear around your camp right here so I don't know much these are but this is awesome this is a boot for your boot So that's kind of a general idea of prices. There's a few things I'm gonna get though for the kids and my wife, because you gotta get the little souvenirs. I think I'll get a little pink hat for Audrey. Quality oil field sweetheart, Prudhoe Bay, $29, 20, sorry, $28 for my wife. I thought she might like that. Garrett really likes stuffed animals, so I got him a polar bear, boom. And then Evelyn's a big puzzle girl. So I got that. I have no idea what this is gonna cost. We'll find out when we get up front. But uh, yeah, this is the store in Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. This is the only store that you can go to. They have a decent selection for the things that you can't find here. Obviously, you can't buy anything fresh here. Everything is just, I mean, you get all your food and everything at the camps. And if you forgot something like coffee, or you want some snacks, toiletry items, they have all that here. And those are the prices. So let me go ahead and buy this and I'm gonna swing by, um, or say the hotel, I'm gonna swing by the camp real quick, grab some to eat before I get in the plane and see if we can head back to the family. He's getting ready. Get I think I'm good whatever, whenever you're ready. No rush. Um, That's like 12 some, that's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah. You know it. Very good. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. I sure Have appreciate it. Thanks you too. Well, every 
time I see the sun The rooster crows for day And every time I see that gal She always looks away Hell, she always looks away Hold on Baby, just hold on I'll be coming home Back where I belong Hold on, All right, lunch was awesome. Good stuff, uh, food's pretty solid here, it's pretty good. I think you could probably get tired of it though from what I'm hearing from folks here, uh, but just for being here for a few days, it was not bad at all. Uh, a couple happy people came up and said hi. They didn't really feel comfortable being on camera at that, but thank you, thank you guys for you guys when you guys come up and say hi, we do appreciate it. Um, talked to them for a while and then and then at the end they said thank you for, thank you for sharing your life with us and said that we are inspirational. And I literally got goosebumps. And oh, <laughs> stuff is so humbling when we hear stuff like that from you guys. So thank you guys for being here, being a part. And, and if, you, if you do see us and get a chance to come up and say hi, we, we really do appreciate that. Let's get to the airport, fly home to the family. Hold on, baby, just hold on. I'll be coming home. Back where I belong, yeah, baby. Hold on, baby. Baby, just hold on. Thank you. Keeping me company, made it back home. We already have puzzles going on. We're already wearing hats. Where's my and new shirt? You got your shirt, nice. So cute. Thank you. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it's pretty rare when I get to go up north these days, so that was interesting, that was fun. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that surprised you or stood out to you uh, on that little jaunt. And with that, I think we're gonna wrap this one up, call it a night, and I'll send it to the kids for a closeout. See you in the next video. Bye.